Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a login page in Weebly for beginners in 2024. Of course, this is a straightforward process that will allow you to add user authentication to your website. So this tutorial, of course, also is perfect for those who are just starting out with Weebly and will help you understand the basics of adding user authentication to your website. So follow along as we build simple yet effective login page. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you will need to go and open a browser. Here, I'm using Brave for you, you can use whatever you want. Once you open that browser, Basically, just go to this URL section, just type weebly.com and hit the enter button. This should take you right away into the home screen or main screen of Weebly. It's your first time, basically, just click on sign up here to create a new account. And if you have an account, just click on login. Of course, you can use, I guess, Google, yeah, Square, and Facebook if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging in into your account. For me here, I'll just use Google. As you can see, I'll choose the account and I should be logged in within a second. So, as I said, if you don't have an account, you'll need to go and set up a Weebly account and even a website if you don't have a website yet. As an example for me, I already have a website. Of course, for you, if you don't, just go here to website and make sure to go and create your own. So, for me, since it's already like created, I'll just go here and click on design site to design that site and try to add a login page into it. Once I do so, I should be taken to the editor where, of course, you can here just go and connect a domain name into it if you want, if you have one also. So here, we are already on it. So, of course, you can, like, uh, delete stuff if you didn't like it. So, for example, here, I'll just go and delete, like, those uh, sections since I don't need them. I don't, need, I don't need all those sections, or I'll just go here to page, and as example, uh, you can delete whatever page you want. As example, maybe this one, I'll just delete it here, like that. And yeah, as you can see. Yeah, so I'll just let this uh, page, and I'll make it as login page, or I'll just go here and create a new page. And yeah, I'll just go with standard page, and I'll name it a login page, as an example. Of course, you can hand, hide this in navigation or you can show it, uh, depending on whatever you want, and then click on done. Of course, here you can uh, like edit the header, uh, edit whatever you want on it, edit the section, etc. Of course, you can replace, as you can see here, the header layout and etc. So I'll just go here and do, I don't know, like, I'll just do like a normal uh, thing like this bicycle or something like that. Yeah, I'll just do that. It's random, of course. You can customize it and do specifically whatever you want. So now, once we have this, yeah, I'll just go and click on save. Now, once we have this, of course, we'll need to drag some elements here to add our login page. Of course, to enable, or sorry, to add the login page, we'll need to enable the membership feature. Of course, where you'll be able to do that simply, if we go, so let me just go and click X in here. You'll need to go to settings at the top right corner here. Click on settings and you'll be taken here. All you need to do, go to this left panel and click on members. Here, as you can see, login and register. At this time, using membership means you will not be able to use Weebly customer account feature. Weebly will be working to remove the restriction and make both of these features available simultaneously. So make sure to show login in site menu. If you have this enabled, that means you have a login page already. And you can enable this if you want to allow people to register with your sites. Make sure to uh, do it also. If you want to, of course. So, to enable the second one, as you can see, you will need to have a plan. So, make sure to upgrade one of their plans like personal, professional, performance, premium, depending on whatever you want. As you can see, if you want to pay yearly, you'll pay like a little bit less if you want. Of course, here you can add members if you have some members from a previous account. So, of course, they will ask me to add like or to choose a plan uh, before I do that. You can even add a group if you have some group. Of course, you can add those members even as a CSV file if you have a CSV file of the members that can be logged in into your account. So, if you have this option checked, as we said before, you already have a login page. All you need to do is simply add the members that you have 
are like from I don't know if they are uh, signed in into or subscribed into an email or something like that basically just make sure to add them here on your website as a CSV file if you have multiple or you can add them one by one by this option or even a group if you have it you will be able to add this by here other than that if you go here to my apps you can simply just go and add whatever uh, else you want like even uh, let me just check if there's a member area i don't know if, if there is a member area other than like the one in the settings so here uh, no it does not seem like they have it so it's fine uh, all i wanted to do is simply check in so all you need to do now is simply just go and customize your login page that you added of course if you want to and other than that just preview of course the changes both on desktop and mobile see how it looks like for both because if you make it good for even mobile users you will boost your seo or uh, search engine ranking which will make of course your website very better then if you preview it and everything looks good all you need to do is simply just click on publish and make sure to publish your website on a specific domain that you have once you do so all you need to do is just wait for people until they log in into your, uh, your website and you'll be good to go. So as a summary, how to add a login page, just go to settings, go to this list panel, click on members, make sure to enable both these options, especially if you want to allow people to register with your site. And you can simply just add a login uh, option on the site menu if you already have some members, but you'll not be able to add members if you don't have like a plan and you, people will not be able to register if you don't have a plan. So make sure to get a plan if you want people to register first of all, then even to log in. So that's going to be it for me. Of course, once you add it, just customize your website however you want, as we said, then publish it and you'll be good to go. Of course, make sure to even test your login page on another browser as an example to see if everything is working and the re redirects are functioning as expected. So you successfully created a functional and stylish login page on Weebly. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.